Alright everybody, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about the Comica lav mics. These are the CVM WM200 A kit mics and the techniques I'm going to show you on setting up these mics will probably work on all Comica lav mics. In fact, the techniques I'm going to show you today will probably work on all lav mics. So if you're new to using labs with your mirrorless setup or DSLR setup and you want to know how to set up your camera to get clear audio like you're listening to now, then uh, stick around because today's tutorial is for you. And one more thing, if you want to see my unboxing and review of this comic and mic set, check out this thumbnail. Link is in the description. Uh, this is what I consider a budget lab set. And you know what? I think they're pretty good. They're pretty good. So check out that video if you want to learn more about this mic set. But without further ado, let's get into how to set up this lab set to work with your camera. All right, so we're going to start this tutorial by setting up the transmitter, then the receiver, then the camera. So first thing you got to do is plug in the mic, plug in the live into the transmitter. There we go. Nice and easy. And on the right side of the receiver, you'll notice a switch with an A and a B, and those are your channels. So if you have two people mic'd up, one person's channel A, one person's channel B, and you can easily switch the channels by flipping the switch. And that's one of the things I really love about this mic set is it's super easy to use. You don't have to fiddle around in menus too much very user friendly. It's pretty much as close as you can get to plug and play. And for demonstration purposes, we're going to leave this on channel A. Also on the right side, you'll notice these two pinch clips. If you pinch and pull, this is where your batteries are. And uh, this thing runs on two batteries. The receiver also runs on two batteries. So you're going to need six AA batteries to run this whole setup. All right, now let's get into the menu of the transmitter. Long press the power button to turn it on. Long press, let it go. Now you have a left button, a right button and a set button. Uh, right and left take you through the menu, long press the set button to select the menu item and then press the set button quickly to select the menu item once you've selected what you want. So here we go, let's take a look. Actually first thing I'm going to do is uh, we're going to go to uh, reset, we're going to hold the set button and we're going to reset everything to factory defaults, resetting. So now it's going to appear as it would appear for you when you first turn it on. So we're in group A channel 0. Now, I wasn't able to find any information in the instruction manual, but from what I understand, when you're on channel zero, it'll automatically pair the transmitter and receiver, but you can manually select channels if you want. There's more information in the instruction manual on which, uh, I guess, uh, frequencies each channel has for channel A and B, but I keep it on zero because it automatically pairs. And then we have input. Right now it's set to mic because we're using the lav mic, but you can also set it for with a line in. So if you have another device that's transmitting some sort of audio, you can get it in here as well. But we're going to leave it on mic. Low cut filter is set to off. You hold the set button and you have two options here. You have three options. You have off, low and high. We're going to keep it on low just in case some of these lights here have a fan noise. There we go. And next we have RF power and that's the amount of power that this device puts into the antenna. So if you're shooting at long ranges, you want to keep it on high. But if you're shooting indoors, you want to save battery power and set it to low. Next we have muting. The power button is also the mute button. So if you touch it, it's muted. The red light goes on. Green light. I find it's a little easy to set this, uh, this mute button or turn it on by accident. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to disable it. So hold the set button. Right now mute is enabled. We're going to hit disabled and you notice this little picture of a lock beside the mic is going to turn black. So set. Now it's in lock position. So the power button doesn't do anything. It won't mute. You can still turn it off by long pressing the power button, but uh, you won't accidentally mute your audio. So what is next? Backlight. So you can set the backlight. You can set it for 15 seconds on time, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, and zero seconds. So we're going to leave it on 60 for demonstration purposes so it doesn't turn off on us. And then you can select your language. You have English, and I assume this is uh, Mandarin or Chinese. I'm not sure, I can't read that text, but uh, it is an Asian language of some sort. We're going to leave it here on English, and then there's reset, version number, and then back to this. And uh, that is the menu system on the transmitter. And to turn it off, you just long press the power button. And there we go. All right, now let's take a look at the receiver. Now, I just want to point out that I unplugged the cables that came with this Comica mic. It's a very short cable that connects from the receiver to the camera, but I needed something longer for this situation. And uh, the cable that I'm using obviously isn't the best quality because I can hear static in my monitoring headphones. I don't know if you can hear that, but I certainly can hear that. And I just want to let you know that that's got nothing to do with the Comica. That's just a bad cable. 
So now let's talk about the receiver. Here we go, on the top of the receiver, we have two 3.5 millimeter jack plugs. On the right side, we have the output. So what you wanna do is take the cables that came with your Comica system, and one end here goes into the output, and the other end goes into the input in your camera, and that transfers the audio from the receiver to your camera, so when you're recording, you can hear what's going on. And speaking of hearing what's going on, this other plug here is for monitoring headphones, so you can plug a set of headphones in there and listen to the audio that's coming out of the system. Now, you also have an output on your camera, and I have my monitoring headphones plugged into the camera so I can hear what's coming out of the camera. All right, now let's take a look at this side. All right, so on the right side here, just like the transmitter, you have an A and a B. Let me zoom in a little bit for you guys. All right, here on the right side of the transmitter, we have a switch. We have A channel, B channel, and in the middle is A, B channel. So I'm gonna switch it to A and you're gonna lose me for a second. AB channel and now we're back to B channel. I'm transmitting on B and the really cool thing about this is you can switch channels live like I'm, I'm recording it's still recording and it's it's hot swapping between channels so that's pretty cool and uh, down here is the uh, battery housing and we're not going to pull out the batteries because we'll lose transmission and you guys already know how to do that so let's move on to uh, the menu. All right, so let's take a look at the receiver menu and figure this out. So up here we have the power button, just like the transmitter, you long press it for a couple seconds and it'll turn on. And right now we're recording on channel B, so you can see group B, channel 00, and you see the battery life of my transmitter here, you see the battery life of the receiver here, and that's pretty straightforward. Now we're gonna switch this to A and B. So now we are seeing the transmitter for A and B and the battery life. And if I talk into the A mic, now I'm talking to A mic. Now I'm talking to the B mic, talking into the A mic. And uh, that's pretty much how it works. It's pretty simple. Now these empty rectangular bars here, that's where you usually see the volume indicator, but I have the volume set to one. And I'll explain why I do that in a second. But uh, yeah, that's the main screen. We're gonna flip over to the next one. Output mode mono. So now from what I understand is the channel A goes to the left side, channel B goes to the right side, and you're getting a mono signal coming in from both of them. But if you record with just one transmitter, you can set it to stereo, long press the set. You set it to stereo, so then the signal from that transmitter goes to the left and right side. But we're gonna set it to mono. Next, we have settings group B. Now this is an important menu setting. So now we're set to group B, so any adjustments I make here on the volume or the sensitivity to the sound will affect group B. If I change that to group A, we'll be affecting group A, so we long press. We can set it to group A and make changes, so if somebody's talking really loud, we can lower their volume, or if they're in a loud space, we can lower their volume, and if someone's talking softly, we can change that as well. So we can make all the adjustments we need right here. We're gonna leave it on B, because that's what I'm recording on. Now here we go, group B settings, volume is set to one. Now, in my experience so far with these mics, I have found that volume one is the best. It gives me the cleanest channel. What happened here? Let's go back over here, volume one. Now I'm gonna increase the volume and show you what it sounds like as we get louder. So we're at two, we're at three, we're at four, we're at five. I find five is okay. It gives you an, a louder voice, but it also picks up a lot of background sound. And as we go up in volume, it's, we go up in sensitivity, so now I'm gonna start clipping and you might hear background noise from fans or cars on the street and it goes all the way up to 15, so this is as loud as the volume goes. And uh, yeah, this definitely... So if you watched the, uh, the review video, I went to the bridge and I recorded at a low volume. So we're gonna keep this at one. Next, we have auto scan. So you, if you wanna set the channels manually, you can pop in here and set your channels manually. And here we have sync, so we can sync automatically. So if we uh, click here, we go sync, yes, matched, and we're good to go. Channel 00 automatically syncs. And backlight, again, you have 60 seconds or zero seconds. You can set your language, you can reset everything, version number, and then back to the main menu. And that's the menu on the receiver. All right, so now we're recording audio on the EOS R, and uh, what I've done is I've taken the transmitter and receiver and set them to factory defaults, and the EOS R is also set to factory defaults. The audio is automatic right now. So you can probably hear a lot of background noise, a lot of white noise, and when I talk, the volume starts to dip a little bit and my voice sounds clear, and then when I stop talking, you hear a lot of the background noise. 
Okay, so let me show you how to fix this because more than likely when you first buy this lav set, if you don't know what you're doing and you plug it into your camera, this is the situation you're gonna run into. So let's fix it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna pop into the receiver and we are going to change the volume level to one. By default, it's set to 12. So now we are going to set it. Actually, I'm gonna set it to two. It'll be a little bit louder. So volume is set to two. Now when we record with the EOS R, you'll notice that the same thing is happening. Maybe my voice isn't as strong or as loud, but when I stop talking, you're gonna hear a lot of the background noise. All right, so now let's fix the setting in the camera. So what we do here is we pop into the menu and your camera might be a little different, right? Everyone's camera is a little different, but every camera has a sound recording option and it's set to auto by default. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop in here and we're gonna set it to manual. And now as I'm talking, you can see that I'm clipping, right? What we wanna do is set this at minus 12 dB. Here we have minus 40 dB, dB we have zero and minus 12. So what you wanna do is be peaking at minus 12. So we're gonna click here on the record level and we're gonna slide this slider along until we go to minus 12. So in my experience, it's right about there. It even looks like we're just a little bit hot, so we're gonna bring it over there. So the thing is, whatever uh, volume level you set your receiver to, I have it set to two right now, if you have it set to five or six or seven or whatever it is, come in here, set your audio recording level to manual, and then adjust your sensitivity so you're peaking at minus 12 dB. So I think it's still a little bit hot. We're gonna bring it down just a little bit. And now we seem to be peaking around minus 12 dB. We're gonna hit OK and get out of the menu. <clears throat> so now we're recording audio with the EOS R and as you can tell, the background noise is gone when I stop talking. You don't hear much white noise in the background. I can hear a little bit in my monitoring headphones. I don't know if you're gonna hear that in the actual video, but uh, yeah, that's how you set your mic. So the other thing you gotta keep in mind is the distance your mic is from the person's mouth, right? I haven't changed the distance. Obviously, if I clip this mic a little higher to my mouth, I'm gonna be a little louder. If I clip it lower on my shirt or further away from my mouth, I'm gonna be a little quieter. So at that point, you're gonna to have to go into the camera and you're gonna to have to re readjust your, uh, your levels or you could pop into your receiver and adjust the levels there. Because remember I showed you, you can adjust the levels for group A and group B individually. So if you have one person who has a mic a little further away from them, you can make them a little louder. And if somebody has the mic too close, you can take the sensitivity and bring that volume down to make them quieter and balance it out. And then in your camera, in the menu settings, obviously you set everything to manual and then you dial in your DB till it hits minus 12 and you're good to go. Because right now I think we got pretty good audio. It sounds really good. All right, and now you know how to set up your lab mics. All right, this video is now over. Uh, we got some dramatic lighting to end this video. The storm clouds have kind of dissipated. Got this funky lighting coming in through the window and this is my favorite kind of lighting. It's always full of character, it's dramatic. I love this kind of lighting for photography and videography. And hey, we got lucky today and we caught some of it. So anyway, uh, this concludes this video. If you're into this kind of stuff, please subscribe to the channel. I'm going to have more videos coming out on Photoshop tutorials, uh, Premiere Pro tutorials, lighting tutorials, photography, videography. I'm even gonna take you on some behind the scenes shoots with some beautiful models so you can check out what's going on and see how I do my photo shoots. So if you're into that kind of thing, subscribe to the channel, would really appreciate it. Also, if you wanna follow me on Twitter and Instagram, those are my handles. And uh, yeah, that brings this video to a conclusion. Hopefully you had fun. Hopefully you learned a little something. These techniques, like I said, will apply to this Comica lab mic set as well as other lab mic sets. Just follow these basic principles and you are good to go and you will be recording awesome audio. And that's it. Peace out. I will see you guys in the next video.